What is up, Kick and Bass Gang? It's your boy Morgan from FOMO, and today we're breaking down our finally remix, which goes a little something like this. If you guys want to listen to the full track, check out the remix competition link in the description and show your boy some love by smashing that upvote button. Let's get it. All right, let's hit it from the breakdown. Drop two, drop two. All right, let's step into the kick and bass real quick. Enormous. Let's check it out. So we got quite a few layers for the kick here. The first one is just a techno kick sample. So carrying most of the weight and it's also in the root note of the track so we're in a sharp minor then below that we got a top kick and another top kick just to layer it so let's check this out and then we have a tom on the downbeat just to add some emphasis so it's like a stomp then on the group we got quite a bit here so we got drum bus everything thick and a little bit of eq so let's listen without this kind of flat and then just enormous with everything for the bass we got two different layers so we have a rolling bass that's inside a serum this one's just two saw waves the second one just has some width with the unison pulled up and then we have envelope one controlling the cutoff to make it a pluck it just rolls in a sharp the whole time then we have a second bass layer that's also in the root note, and this is just adding like a little bit of mids to it. Then below that, we just have an offbeat tom rhythm. Just beefing up that rhythm, baby. Let's check out these synths next, because there's quite a bit going on here. All right, so on the downbeat here, we just have a stab sample. Nothing crazy here, just taking out some of the lows on it. After that, we got the big ass fucking rave stab, which has a shit ton of layers. Let's check it out. So for the MIDI, it's just the root note with a fifth underneath it. And then on the second part, we have the little roll with an auto filter on it. So it's just. And for the patch itself, we have five layers to it, but the main layer is a preset from, I think, the Hybrid Techno Pack, which is in the description if you guys want to check it out. So it's just two detuned saw waves, same octave, and then a little bit of OTT just to brighten it up and EQ sculpting it, and then just some tube distortion, so without, the, without all the processing. So just giving it like more of a mid-range and less high. Then we have another layer underneath it. So this is just another rave stab sort of sound with just the A sharp in it. And this one's just gonna be a detuned style but with a comb filter on it. So just adding a little bit of air to the sound. And then we have two different stabs that are just samples. Just accenting the main hits, none of the rolls. Then on the group itself, we have quite a bit going on here. So 
We got standard multiband comp. I, w I went through hell making this to fit perfectly, but I tried to tame it a little bit with this and then OTT to make it fatter. Then we sculpted the sound just to make it fit in the mix a little bit. And then I thought it was still too harsh, so we added this again. And then for the reverb, it's pretty fucking enormous. So we got a uh, reverb send set up. And on the wet channel, we just have a, a pretty long reverb with a pre-delay on it, just so it doesn't conflict with the note hits. Then we have gain automation on the reverb to increase the volume into the next part of the drop. So after it hits right here, it increases 13 dB, but it's, it doesn't sound that loud because the reverb tails off. Then on the reverb channel, we also have a sidechain compressor that triggers to the sound. So every time the sound hits, the reverb ducks out. And that just makes room for the stab sound so it doesn't sound too drowned out. And then after that, we have an auto filter that comes up on just the stutter notes right here. So it kind of just swells into the second set of stabs. The next sound we have is this big acid re-stab. So it's just another saw wave with a band pass, which is giving it the tone. And then we have LFO1 set to a bar, which is the length that the sound is. And it just has the stab at the front and then it swells into the next section. And then in post, we also have, let's see here, another auto filter just to make it die down a little bit and come back and then an overdrive after that, so. And then we have the wide noise erosion just to give it some more girth. And a little bit of EQ and reverb. And the next two bars of the drop, we have another acid stab, so. And then we have this fill neuro sound in between it, so. Oh, dirty. So this one is another saw wave, and then we just have envelope one on the filter right here, and then a bunch of effects here, so it's just blasted with distortion. So the main part of the tone is controlled by all the resonance with the cutoff, so. Then after that, we're just making the sound a little bit beefier with effects. Let's check out this post-processing. So we got overdrive for fatness. So just distorting the frequencies that we want in the sound. OTT, just to again, make it bigger in the mix. Then we have a disperser, and this is what gives it that like super grittiness. So this is pretty cool to fuck around with, so. Then after that, we just have some erosion for noise, sculpting with the EQ, a little bit of reverb then LFO tool. And the last little note is at the end of it, we have the pitch bend, which drags down at the end. And then we just mess around with some of these automations as the arrangement goes. Ooh. Let's check out this breakdown next. So the first sound we got in the breakdown is this gated synth. So we're just going third, second, first, down to the seven, then back up to the second, and then repeating. And then in the automation, we just bring up the filter cutoff as the breakdown progresses. So it starts out pretty tame and then increases in frequency. And for the sound itself, it's just going to be a detuned saw wave. Saw waves all day. So second oscillator just has more voices to fill out the stereo image. And then in post, we have a triplet delay, a big-ass hall reverb just to put in the back of the mix, a little bit of OTT to bring it out, and that's about it. Under that, we got the high string, which is playing the root note just to add some ambience. Then we have a re-space that is following a similar pattern to the gated synth, but different notes. Then we have a couple different ear candy sounds. So the first one is this bird call. So it's just gliding notes from the A, the root note, down to the seven. And then on the second part right here, it's just an octave up. And for the sound design, it's just going to be another detune saw with the same sort of processing. Above that, we have the pluck. 
And this is actually the notes from the vocal. And then lastly, we have the techno flutter pluck, which is the same rhythm as the rolling synth in the drop. Crispy. And for the sound design, we just have two different plucks layered on top of each other, both from the hybrid techno pack. So the first one. And then the second layer. And then I just cut off all the effects inside of the serum patches and added some group processing. So we got OTT to make it fatter and then a, quite a bit of delay and reverb just to fill up the space in the background. Oof. Let's check out some of these effects next. So for the break, got a couple different things going on here. So we have this clap impact, but what I did is I boosted the A sharp in it with two big bells. Just to give us some nice air on the breakdown. Then we have a low impact with the lows cut out because we have the respace. Then we just have a cymbal transition below that. And then I did a reverse reverb of the drop synth that leads into the break as well. Nice. Then for the buildup, we just have a sub drop and then a couple risers. So we have. So this is a riser from the hyper techno pack as well with the pitch going up an octave over the buildup. Then we have a flutter noise up. Automating macro one, which increases the intensity. Then below that, we just have a Reese riser that goes up two octaves. Lastly, we'll head over to the big boy's second drop and check out this percussion. So for the cymbals, we got a ride on the upbeats, one top loop, two top loops, then a closed hat layer just to give us more transient. This one's super wide as well, so it just fills up the stereo image. Then we have this little bit from a top loop, and it's just like a burst. So the way I put all the symbols together is I just use like eight different loops and then just pick out the best parts of them and just layer them on top of each other. And then on the group, we just have a little bit of overdrive to give them the same color and cutting out the lows right here. For the percussion, we just got this enormous clap. And on the second hit, it's just a little bit tighter to give us some variation. On the downbeat, we have another big splash with a bunch of reverb and delay. Just give us that impact. And then we just have a couple different fills going on. So let's check them out. So we got one fill snare. Then we have a rolling snare underneath that. And a big snare on the last hit just to lead into the next part of the drop. One more time for the people. All right, gang, that's gonna do it for the track breakdown. We'll post the project file on the Patreon once the competition is over. And don't forget to listen and smash that upvote button, baby. Links in the description. Peace.